All right, what I'm going to work with, because the picture I want to start with, I'm going to go up to camera. I have parallel projections selected. Remember, that's important. I'm going to go up to standard view, and I'm going to work with the back view. In this case, it looked like it just flipped the, the trailer around to the other side. Now, something else that I want to point out to you, you've got to be careful about the buttons on your mouse and how the, you use them. And I want you to do this just so you get familiar. Take and put the mouse so that your hand control is in the center of uh, your image. And notice that we have a hand now. We don't have a pointer. And the reason is this is for panning. If you click the left button and hold it down so you can slide the trailer back and forth, up and down, and there's no perspective change. However, if you happen to use the middle button or your sc scroll button, click and hold it down, then all of a sudden, boom, you see we have changed to that other view that we talked about. All right. So the reason I point that out, if by accident you hit the scroll button, no problem. Just come back up to camera, down to standard, and in my case, I'm hitting back view to pop this right in where I want it. The point being, if we're going to move our trailer around, Try to use just your left key. Now, you can use the scroll button if you don't push down, if you just roll it. See, and that will keep the trailer flat, but it will move it in and out for a closer view. But again, if you accidentally, and I'm going to do that now, if you accidentally are scrolling and push down, you can see I've changed the view. No problem. Go back to camera, standard view in my case back view and we're back where we want to be. Now it's very important that we're in the parallel view looking at the side because when we bring our photograph in uh, to use as reference we want everything to be flat for measurements. Okay so I'm gonna do that at this point. I'm gonna go up to file, import, and again, I like to always click on the icon up here and change to thumbnail so I can really make sure I'm getting the picture that I want. Okay, here's my street side view of my trailer. And we're going to have it as an image this time, not a texture, as an image. And so I'm going to double click. And you can see that it brings it in. I'm not going to put it on the trailer what I'm going to do, and actually what it does, it's going to start sitting way back here on the red line, which is fine. And I'm going to start out by, excuse me, <coughs> trying to line the front of the trailer up like this to start off with. Click back here, and then pull to get it close to the same size. Now this takes a little fooling around. You can see as I pulled it, the front is no longer lining up. So I'm going to try to guess how far I want to pull back beyond the back to match up the front. Click to set it into place. Then I see how I have my little hand for panning. And I can click on the picture. Up. Oh. Wrong button. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to hit the S key for scaling. And so I'm going to first try to draw this down to get this to line up. And see that now it's too big, so I'm going to have to pull from this end. So it's going to be a common. Now, a nice thing back here, I have the blue line to line up with uh, the area. I don't want to line it with the bumper. I actually want to line with the back of the trailer, with the back of the trailer. And I want to get the front of the trailer to line up. Now, one thing you could do at this point, if, if I go up and hit the space bar to change my pointer back to just the select tool, all right, I could click back here to deselect the trailer, hit L for my line tool, and for right now, just draw a line right straight up to see if I've got that trailer where I want it to. And, hey, I lucked out. It lines up right where I want it to. All right, so I have the front lined up. I'm going to hit the Escape key to get rid of that 
essential line. I can see I've got the back lined up. So now that I have again is uh, I'm going to spacebar for the select tool. I have my photograph as my reference. It shows me the size of the windows and where their placement's going to be. So I can start creating these uh, window patterns in my trailer. Now again, it's very important the position, and I'm going to hit the scroll key just again to show you how I can quickly throw this off if I hit the wrong key. See, that's not going to get me where I want to get. And you can also see here how our trailer is actually, uh, our photograph is behind or the back side of what we're working on. Camera, standard, back. Okay, so I have the two things lined up. Notice right now nothing is selected and that's the way we want to start out. So I'm going to work on this window first. So I'm going to go and pick up my rectangular tool, come down to my trailer, and again what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to draw the rectangle a little bit inside the frame. And if I use my scroll buttons, I've got my pointer right in the center of the window. That means it's going to pull it in close to here. If I had it down here by chance, you see what happens? It goes up out of the way. If I have it in the middle of the window, then that pulls that part right straight to me. I'm not pushing down on the scroll bunching button, just rolling it. Now the actual opening for the window is a little smaller than the frame. So you see I'm going to come here about the middle of that frame, click, drag down till I get to the other side and release my left button. And there is my initial button. Now again I used the scroll button to come back out. What I could do see is come out a little bit till I get to move down here and then scroll from here. Alright. I need to get the come up and get the pan tool which is up here, this hand. And then see I should oh nope that's not gonna work. Sorry. Ah, I want the one over here. I picked the wrong tool. Not this hand. The hand up over here looks like the open hand, not the pointing hand. All right, grab it, move the trailer up to the point where I can see both items. Now, what I need to do is turn this square into a uh, three-dimensional box for my reference. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually now take my scroll button, push it down, and rotate around because I want to pull this out and I want to see how uh, much thickness I add to this box. So I'm going to hit the space bar, get my select key, select the box, hit the P key for the, uh, remember that's the pull tool up here, and I'm going to pull out the box and I'm going to pull it out pretty long for what I want. Now I take it back let's make it about an even box like so. Alright so now that we have our box and we know how big it is alright the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to go back up to camera standard position back there's my box I'm going to double click on my box to highlight it and I'm going to now right click and make it a component and I'm going to name it <coughs> window street because it's the street side front 